This is how to crochet a bracelet. Hi, I'm Emma and I'm going to show you how to crochet an epic bracelet. Crochet is a type of knitting that uses one hook instead of two needles. To get started, you need a crochet hook and a ball of wool, whatever colour you like. Firstly, you'll need to make a slip knot. Grab your wool, wrap it round your finger twice, take the back loop over the front loop, then take the next back loop over the front loop and pull up and you've got a slip knot. Next, put your knot onto your crochet hook and pull it tight. Then, using your index finger, pull the yarn up so you can grab it with your crochet hook whilst holding onto the knot. Grab the yarn, turn your hook and pull the yarn through the loop. Grab the yarn, pull it through the loop. This is called a crochet chain. Keep doing this until the bracelet is the length that you prefer. Grab some scissors and cut your wool. Then simply pull the crochet hook up to pull your end through and you've got your chain with two ends. Tie your two ends in a bow and you've got an epic bracelet. Let's recap. To do a slip knot, wrap your wool around your finger twice. Take the back loop over the front loop, do this again and pull through. To start your crochet chain, put the hook through the loop, lift the yarn with your finger, turn your hook and pull the yarn through the loop. Repeat to make your chain. To finish, pull the end of your wool through and tie in a bow. Once you've mastered making a chain, you can crochet with pretty much anything. Here's a bracelet I've made out of ribbon and you can even crochet with tinsel. And that's how to make an epic crocheted bracelet. This is how to do a henna design. Hi, I'm Nina and I'm going to show you how to do an epic henna design. It's really important to just do a small patch test on your skin the day before to make sure that you're not sensitive to it. If you want to draw your designs out first, then you can, or you can find a design that you like and copy it straight onto the skin. To start off, you'll need to make sure the skin is clean, dry and free from any jewellery and snip off just the tip of your henna cone. I'm going to start with the line on the wrist. Then you can slowly mark out your design with dots so you can see where the henna will go. Take it slowly to begin with and once you get comfortable using the henna you can really get creative. If you do make a mistake, don't worry, you can just grab a cotton bud and wipe away the excess. Every so often, just make sure you wipe off the tip so it doesn't get clogged up. Once your design's complete, leave it on for a minimum of two hours until it's completely dry. The henna stain will stay on your hands for at least 10 days. And that's how you do an epic henna design. This is how to make perfume. Hi, I'm Francis. And I'm going to show you how to use flowers from the garden to make your own scent. First, you need to get some flowers. So get out in the garden and pick what you think smells best. You've probably been told off for picking flowers before, so get permission first. But I'm also going to use some lemon peel, cardamom pods, some cloves, some vanilla pods. Flowers are going to make the base of my scent. That's lavender rose petals and definitely some lilies because they smell really really good and now this is the fun bit it's time to start bashing these all up it's really helping to release even more of that aroma and it's already smelling really really nice get yourself a jar and pour them into it and 
then you'll need to get hold of an unscented oil. So I'm using grapeseed oil, which you can get from a supermarket really easily. So pour your oil in and just make sure all your ingredients are covered. Okay. Put your jar into a cupboard or a dark space and leave it for two weeks just to allow those aromas to really infuse into the oil. After a couple of weeks, the oil will have taken on all those lovely smells. So you need to get a cheesecloth or muslin, pour the oil through and separate the oil from all those bits of peel and petal and spice. Grab all of that stuff and give it a good squeeze to get the last bits of smell into your jar. Well, this smells amazing already, but it's really, really strong. So I'm going to dilute it by adding more of the grapeseed oil. About the same again, so you're doubling it. Now that's ready, you just need to pour it into a bottle and spray away. That smells amazing. But the great thing about this is that you can experiment with all different kinds of spices, petals and citrus fruits so you find a scent that's perfect for you.